What's going on YouTube, Geosnow right here, so in today's video we're quickly discussing about the compatible devices for iOS 17 and iPadOS 17, if you want to install the beta, the developer beta, public beta and even the final version when it comes out, whether your device supports it or not and how you can get it. We're gonna get into that in a second. This video is brought to you by Terrorshare Reboot, a software that allows you to perform an iOS system repair if your upgrade has gone wrong. You can downgrade and upgrade to iOS 17 beta and back to iOS 16 and of course the program can fix a plethora of iOS issues like 150 plus iOS, iPadOS and tvOS system problems. For example, the device being stuck on the Apple logo, screen one turn on, recovery mode loop and stuff like that. So definitely check the program out in the link below. A free trial is available on Tenorshare.com. So as I said, with this you can easily upgrade to iOS 17 beta or downgrade back to iOS 16 if you don't like iOS 17 beta. Check the program out in the link below. There will be a link in the description. So a couple of days ago we had the WWDC 20 which is the annual event where Apple unveils the new iOS. And this year it was iOS 17. Now compared to the previous years, Apple did something incredible. And now iOS betas, as well as macOS betas, tvOS betas and stuff like that, all the betas are now free. You can get them for free. You don't have to pay the 99 per year for a developer account anymore if you want the betas. So you can now just simply log in with your Apple ID and get them from the Apple developer portal. No idea why Apple did these changes, but it's definitely nice. And you you can see that they also changed the benefits and resources over here. So basically if you were in the Apple developer program, which is paid, you had access to iOS betas as well, but now you just have to sign in with your Apple ID and you can grab them for free. Now I put together an article on how to download and install iOS 17 or iPadOS 17 developer beta for free on iPhone or iPad, but what are the compatible devices? Well here in this article, which by the way will be in the description down below, I mentioned the fact that if you want to use them, these are the compatible devices. So this year, Apple did something very very bad. They completely dropped iPhone 10, 8 and 8 Plus. Now in the previous year iOS 16 did support iPhone 10, iPhone 8, 8 Plus so you could use for example Pelrain and Jailbreak Dose on the latest version which was 16.5. Well this year you can't anymore. iPhone 7, SE 2016 and lower are not supported. iPhone 8, 8 Plus are no longer supported for iOS 17. iPhone 10 is not supported for iOS 17. So the support for iOS 17 now starts from iPhone 10 10S, 10S Max and 10R and is going up. However, if you have an iPad, the situation is a little bit different. There are still iPads that support Pelrain, so A11 iPads that do support iOS 17. So technically it's called iPadOS 17, but it's basically the same thing, iOS, iPadOS. It's just that it has more features for iPad. But yeah, for iPad, it supports iPad mini 5th generation and later, iPad Air 3rd generation and later, iPad 6th generation and later, and iPad Pro 2nd generation and later. So if you have any of these devices, you will definitely be able to install iPadOS 17. And for some of them, which are compatible with Pelrain, you can even jailbreak them in the future because I just made a video about the fact that a jailbreak for iPadOS 17 was achieved by Pelrain team. So yeah, these are the compatible devices. If you want to install it, you can do so by going ahead here on the developer portal, logging into the developer portal, and of course agreeing to the terms and conditions. And then you will be able to navigate here in the settings application and general software update and you should be able to see the iOS 17 developer beta. However, if you don't, you can get any of the IPSWs in here. For example, this one, you press in here and you can get the IPSW, which you can use in order to restore it via iTunes or Finder or whatever. So you can still install the betas and now the betas are completely free coming from Apple. The link will be in the description down below for this article in which I show you how to do that. And yeah, it was a nice event, but there are not many features on iOS 17. Tell me in the comment section down below what you think about this year's update. Thank you for watching, I am Gio Snow, peace out.